today the topic for discussion is uh, problems on the uh, forward difference operator backward difference operator and uh, the shift operator e and the first problem is construct a forward difference table for the following values so what are the values given x values of these are the values of x in first row and the values of y in the second row so we have to construct the forward difference table okay so this is the forward difference table that is our, our write uh, the values of x in first column the write the values of y or fx in the second column and the first difference second difference third difference fourth difference and fifth difference so here the values are given values are six that is the values of x or y are six values and that's why we have the uh, table at the delta raised to five okay if the values are uh, six then the value uh, table uh, terminated at uh, delta raised to five so if the values are suppose five given values of x or y are five five then the table uh, this forward difference table terminated at uh, delta raised to four uh, that is at the fourth difference okay so if the values are supposed to given 10 then the uh, last table is what a last column of the table is what delta raised to 9 fx if the 10 values of x or y are given so here six values are given and so the last column is what delta raised to 5 fx if the values are 5 then the last column is delta raised to 4 fx okay so because after uh, th these values are given values are six in number so in the first column, uh, this uh, delta in the first difference column is what is the delta fx contains uh, five values. Then the delta is to delta square contains uh, this column contains four values. Then this uh, column contains three values, two values, and uh, last column contains one value. Okay, one entry. So six values are given, and therefore uh, we have the last column delta is to five fx or y fx or y the notation for fx is also y so right delta is to 5y delta is to 4y or delta is to uh, 4fx delta is to 5fx okay so uh, and what are what are the next difference delta is to 6fx uh, that is the next differences are all zero so six values are given then uh, uh, the delta is to 6fx delta is to 7fx uh, are all uh, equal to zero that is if the six values of x or y are given then uh, the six uh, the differences from uh, six order and further differences are all uh, equal to zero so what is the increase in the this uh, first difference column that is delta fx or delta y so this is the forward difference table if we have to construct the backward difference table then instead of this uh, delta, write only del. And uh, the procedure of obtaining the uh, forward difference table and backward difference table both are same. And uh, what is the uh, method? Uh, then uh, what is the increase in the first column? Uh, first column of this uh, first order difference that is delta fx. So this entry 10 minus 6 that is 4. So write uh, 4 in the first place. Uh, write 4 in the uh, middle of 6 and 10 then uh, 10 13 minus 10 is 3 then 17 minus 13 is 4 then 23 minus 17 is 6 and then 31 minus 23 is 8 because we know the definition of forward difference table what is the forward difference table definition of uh, what is the forward difference uh, operator that uh, delta fx is what is f of x plus h what is delta fx is f of x plus h minus fx that is the value at the next point minus value at the same point so we have this entries then the next column is delta square fx so i uh, so again the same procedure 3 minus 4 that is minus 1 so write to minus 1 in the middle of this 4 and 3 and then uh, uh, 4 minus 3 is 1 then 6 minus 4 is 2 8 minus 6 is 2 then uh, delta cube fx then this minus this number so minus minus become plus one that is two then two minus one is one two minus two is zero and the next column delta is two four fx is what one minus two is minus one zero minus one is minus one and then la last column delta is to five fx is what this minus this number is zero 
both are same that subtraction is zero so this is the forward difference table so if the question is construct a backward difference table instead of this forward if there is the word backward and given the same suppose given the same table and we have to construct the backward difference table so right the backward difference table is so write the values of x write the values of y and just write here del fx here del square fx del cube fx del raised to 4 fx del raised to 5 fx instead of delta in uh, we write del square uh, del 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 square okay if we have to construct the backward difference table and all these entries are same that is the procedure of the obtaining forward backward difference table is same only uh, replace this delta by delta so next example is the next example is of backward difference table so what is the next example construct the backward difference table uh, for this this writing is this sentence the previous problem see the previous problem we have the forward difference uh, definition is delta fx is what f of x plus h minus fx delta square is delta of delta fx etc and h is 5 so this sentence these two sentences are not required in this examples but uh, uh, what is this sentence this is the definition of del delta fx delta square fx and what is h h is the common difference 0 5 10 15 so what is the h the common difference is what is 5 in the values of x so this h is so but there is no need to write these two sentences because the question is what only construct a forward difference table so don't write these two sentences only uh, write uh, directly write the forward difference table the next problem is construct the backward difference table the values of x and y or fx are given again here eh is what 10 20 30 40 the values of x are equidistant and the distance is 10 so eh is 10 but uh, no need to write these two sentences in the in this answer of problem because the question is construct a backward difference table so write directly this backward difference table so uh, what is we know the definition of a del fx is fx minus value at the previous point value at the point minus value at the previous point so write the values of x so here the values are given what uh, in five number values are in five in number so we have the last column del raised to 4fx if the values of x or y are 6 in number then the last column is what is del raised to 5fx so here the values are 5 and so del raised to 4fx is the last column and what are the next uh, differences that is del raised to 5 del raised to 6 all are equal to 0 because few values are given and so we have the last column del raised to 4fx so write the values of y or fx in the second column and what is the third column is del fx the third column next column is del square fx del cube fx or uh, del raised to 4fx or write uh, fx or y okay and uh, what are the entries in this column del fx then again 65 minus 45 that is 20 80 minus 65 that is 15 92 minus 80 that is 12 100 minus 92 is 8 that is the procedure of uh, preparing uh, backward difference table and forward difference table both is same just write uh, in a forward difference table delta and in a, the backward difference table del okay so this is the backward difference table but the procedure of preparing backward difference table and forward difference table is same then uh, this minus this 15 minus 20 is minus 5 12 minus 15 is minus 5 8 minus 12 is minus 3 okay and then again the next column is what this minus 3 minus 5 uh, minus minus become plus 5 that is 2 then this number minus this number is the next entry then this minus this minus 1 minus 2 becomes minus 3 so this is the backward difference table next example is uh, prepare the forward difference table we are given the function function is what x cube plus 5x minus 7 and the value of x are what minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 the values are of x are equidistant and the distance is what is 1 
the common h uh, h value of h for this x is 1 h is 1 uh, the common difference is 1 and what is the question prepare the forward difference table and obtain f6 and f7 so first we prepare the uh, the forward difference table so write the values of x so values of x are what are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 in number similarly the values of y or fx are 7 in number and therefore the last column is what is a delta is to 6 fx but uh, we terminated this table at delta q because if all the values are mm, similar in uh, any column here we observe this column all the values are same 6 6 6 and therefore no need to construct uh, further columns because what is the next column delta raised to 4 fx what is the value of delta raised to 4 x uh, what are the entries in the delta raised to 4 fx uh, all entries are 0 so 6 minus 6 0 6 minus 6 0 6 minus 0 that is all the entries in the further columns are 0 and so no need to write the uh, further columns if the values at any stage uh, at any column are same all the values all the entries are same then no need to uh, construct a further table or further columns okay so otherwise if we hear the values are what uh, seven in numbers uh, then uh, when the table uh, terminated or when the last column of what is the last column of the table the last column of the table is uh, delta is to 6 fx but all the values are similar in this column and so no need to write the further columns so what is the uh, forward difference table so write the first column is what the values of x that are given and what what are the values of y or fx so find the values of uh, fx or y at uh, x is equal to minus 1 that is substitute x is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 cube is minus 1 5 into minus 1 is minus 1 minus 7 so this becomes minus 30 then value of 0 is what at 0 is what value of fx at 0 is what substitute x is equal to 0 so this is 0 this is 0 minus 7 is the value at 0 similarly substitute uh, 1 substitute 2 3 4 5 and these are the values of fx or y so uh, the next column is what delta fx this minus this this value minus this value so write this value minus this value in the middle of these two so 35 minus 11 and 77 minus 35 143 minus 77 that is 66 then uh, next column is what delta square fx this minus this 0 this minus this 6 24 minus 12 well okay all these entries then 6 minus 0 is 6 12 minus 6 is 6 18 minus 12 is 6 24 minus 18 is 6 okay that is all the entries in this column are similar same and so stop here uh, no need to find a further table then uh, we have to find the value of f6 and f7 we have to find the values of f6 and f7 some problem in sharing some problem in sharing the screen okay now the screen is sharing so we have to find the value of f6 so what is es2 7 of f of minus 1 that is shift the uh, point f of minus 1 to 7 uh, places so if we shift the point minus 1 to 7 places then what we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is we have to shift the minus 1 to 7 places so minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 so see the one f of e raised to e raised to if we shift the point minus 1 to 7 places then what is the value suppose this minus 1 shifted to 7 places further so first place is one, 0 second third then this is fourth place fifth place sixth place and seventh place is what six so e raised to seven f of minus one 
see this e raised to 7 f of minus 1 is what is f of 6 e raised to 7 f of minus 1 is f of 6 so we have to find the value of f of 6 so what is uh, f of 6 e raised to 7 f of minus 1 so uh, choose this uh, number f of minus 1 this is the first number so write f of 6 as e raised to what of the first number so e raised to 7 of f of minus 1 so uh, this number we, we have to find is 7 and this is this number is what f of minus 1 how we can take this f of minus 1 because the first value is minus 1 so similarly f of 7 is what e raised to 6 of e raised to 8 here is a wrong uh, this 6 is wrong answer here is 8 e raised to 8 f of minus 1 that is if we shift minus 1 to 8 point then we have the value f of 7 okay so because we know that f of uh, e value of e of fx the uh, definition of e of fx what is e of fx e of fx is what is f of x plus h e square f of x is what is f of x plus 2h similarly what is e raised to 7 f of x is f of x plus 7h h is 1 so f of x plus 7 minus 1 plus 7 is 6 okay so and then uh, e value of e is what e is 1 plus delta so 1 plus delta is to 7 f of minus 1 then obtain the expansion of 1 plus delta is to 7 by using binomial theorem we have total eight terms but uh, here only the first four terms are given because the further differences are zero so what is the uh, power of x plus y raised to 7 uh, or expansion of x plus y raised to 7 the expansion of x plus y raised to 7 is what we have the total eight terms <coughs> so here the first term is what the first term is what x raised to n x raised to n n c n c 7 c 7 c 0 7 c 0 the coefficient of 1 is what 7 c 0 1 raised to 7 e 7 then plus 7 c 1 the next term so what are the coefficients 7 c 0 7 c 1 7 c 2 7 c 3 7 c 4 7 c 5 7 c 6 and 7 c 7 the last coefficient of the eighth number terms okay so the expansion of this 1 plus delta raised to 7 contains total eight terms but the only four terms are uh, taken in this bracket because the further differences because we observe in table delta raised to 4 delta raised to 5 all are 0 so this is the first term then second term is what 7 c1 1 raised to 6 delta into delta then uh, 7 c2 the first term 1 raised to uh, 5 but 1 raised to 5 is 1 delta square okay uh, this is the by using binomial theorem 7 c3 the uh, fourth power of this uh, one and third power of this uh, delta okay uh, the further terms are not given because all the further terms are what the next term is 7 c4 delta raised to 4 next term is 7 c5 delta raised to 5 and all the remaining terms but the differences are the further differences are zero because we observe in this table the delta up to delta q the terms are non zero the remaining terms are zero delta raised to 4 fx is what 6 minus 6 0 6 all increase in the delta raised to 4 delta raised to 5 are zero that's why here the further terms are not uh, given actually 1 plus delta raised to 7 contains eight terms but here only the five terms are, uh, four terms are given okay what are the next term 7 c 4 delta raised to 4 but all these terms are higher differences are zero that's why the further terms are not given actually 1 plus delta raised to 7 contains eight terms okay f of minus 1 is it then the next term 1 into f of minus 1 is f of minus 1 plus 7 c1 is 7 by calculator we can find this uh, combination value of this combination 7 c1 is 7 and del of f of minus 1 uh, not del, a delta of f of minus 1 then 7 c2 value is 21 uh, find this value by using calculator delta square f of minus 1. then uh, 7 c3 value is 35 and uh, delta q f of minus 1 and then f of minus 1 value of f of minus 1 from table is minus 30 then uh, del uh, delta f of minus 1 is 6 this is also from table observe the table delta of f of minus 1 is 6 
delta square f of minus 1 is 0 and delta cube f of minus 1 is 6. So, uh, these values are uh, from table. Uh, this is the forward difference table. So, these values are important that minus 13, 6, 0 and 6. If the table is backward uh, difference table, then these values are important. So, the bottom values are important. So, the value of delta f of minus 1 is 6. Delta square f of minus 1 is 0 here. Delta square f of minus 1 is 0 and delta cube f of minus 1 is 6. So, these values are from table and the addition of addition and the multiplication and subtraction of these numbers is 2, 3, 9. So, f of 6 here is again 3. This is not 3. Here, right, 6. So, f of 6 is what? 2, 3, 9. Okay. Similarly, f of 7 is what? e raised to 8 f of minus 1. And what is e? 1 plus delta raised to 8. Again, the uh, expansion of 1 plus delta is to 8 contains 9 terms, but here only the 4 terms are given because all the differences are 0. Then multiply by f of minus 1, and again delta f of minus 1, delta square f of minus 1, delta cube f of minus 1 are substituted from the previous table. And the uh, value of this 8c2, 8c1, 8c1 is 8, 8c2 is this 28, 8c3 is 56, and this is calculated by using calculator. And then values are and the value of f of 7 is what? 371 in the calculation of this. So, these are some problems on the uh, forward difference operator, backward difference operator, and the shift operator. And the remaining problems we will see in the next lecture. Also, the same type problems we will see in the next lecture. Uh, the problems on the forward difference, backward difference, and shift operator.